Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm doing one that I feel like it's getting into this time of year that I feel like it's necessary. I am doing my custom top 25 NCAA men's basketball rankings. Now obviously rankings aren't the most important part of the year. It's obviously se tournament seating. Um, that's really what it comes down to. But you still want to be ranked high because in it, I mean, first of all, I always feel like it looks better. And second of all, I mean, it, it ramps up your resume a bit. And it helps you with the seeding um, um, quite a bit. So, I bring to you my top 25 here for um, four games to go in the regular season for men's basketball here in 2022. Number 25, one that is not currently in the rankings. Um, the first two are followed by number 22. Colorado State. Now, I've seen a few of their games, and the next one's also in their conference. They're actually rivals. Um, and there's it, it, it's just these teams that I don't feel like are put in there, that there's just something that you can't see, but there just is something about them that makes them feel top 25 worthy, and that's all it is for me. Same with number 24, Wyoming. Um, I mean, I, I just, it, they're just winning games. They're finding a way to do it. And that's not the easiest conference ever. So um, I think they're just finding a way to win games and they're being successful at it. Number 23, Ohio State. I've given this team a lot of chances. Obviously, they're in the Big Ten, which is where Illinois plays. So it gets competitive in there. Um, they just have been up and down, back and forth. Um, every, every team in the Big Ten has. It's a very tough conference. So I just have been back and forth with them. And I don't, I just feel like kind of, not right at the end of the list, but kind of, near the top is where to put a team that can be inconsistent, such as Ohio State. Number 22, we have Rutgers. They have 10 losses. I don't usually give teams with 10 losses chances. They won four straight games against ranked opponents. You got to give some props to them for that. And also, I, I just, it just seems like, um, they, they just have a good resume behind them, and I feel like they deserve a chance in that top 25 to see if it maybe motivates them or something. I don't know. Number 21, Tennessee. This is another. This has been another team on a rocky path, on a bumpy path, but I also feel like that they um, deserve, um, not a lowest spot, but they deserve to be in there in a fairly good position just because they also play in a tough conference against good competition. So, yeah. Number 20, Arkansas. Um, new coach um, coming in from Loyola, Chicago to the Razorbacks. What's his name? Peter Moser. Um, and he's done a great job with that um, program. Although they've lost to some iffy teams, they've also, um, they also play another good conference. A lot of the, almost everyone, except for the one that Gonzaga plays in, I feel like are tough conferences. So I'm giving credit to those teams who have to fight against their wins. So yeah. Arkansas number 20, number 19, Villanova. They're ranked number 8th in the rankings right now. I I don't give them 8th. They have 7 losses, is it now, after that UConn loss. It, you just could not be on the top 10 with 7 losses. Come on now. Um, And UConn, they're a good team. They lost to some good teams. But you can't have 7 losses and be in the top 10. They haven't... They haven't um, they haven't done anything special, in my opinion. Number 19. Number 18, Wisconsin. This is a team that... I feel like I start all my things with this is a team, so sorry if I'm getting repetitive. But it's, it just seems like that they are another one that's inconsistent, but they also um, find a way to win games, and they also have some big playmakers that um, quietly do work, and such as Johnny Davis. I mean, he's you, you don't see him being talked about on Sports Center every day. But he's just he's just one of those guys that works hard and gets gets it done on the court. And he's a big part of Wisconsin. And they just have a few of those that can really carry them. And um, that's why I think that they're in the middle of the list nicely here at number 18. Number 17 and number 16 are two teams you never see in the top 25 hardly. Um, they are in the, currently in the top 25, but I moved them up a little bit from their current spots. Number 17, St. Mary's. I watched them play a game the other day. Very surprised. Um, finally another good team coming out of Gonzaga's conference. What's that? What's that called? I can't think of it at the moment. But, um, they have, there was this one play that they ran. I, I know that the announcers said the name of it, but it was just something that seemed like it really worked. And they were aggressive. They were, they were a pretty aggressive shooting team, which I think was 
nice. Um, and that can go a long way. So I think St. Mary's is good at number 17. Number 16, Murray State. Haven't seen them play at all. Or maybe one game. But their resume is good. Their, um, and, yeah, I, I just feel like it's good to give teams like this a chance. They have a good record, good resume. Those all click to be number 16 in the top 25. Number 15 is Illinois. Here's my reason. I was I had them at like 20 for 21 or something. But then I thought that they have beaten some very tough teams. They've also lost to a bunch of bad teams. But overall, I don't want to be biased and put them higher. I don't want to be um I'm biased if that's a word and put it lower. So I just figure to put it where it is at number 15 so that I'm not getting caught for being biased or anything. And I, I yeah, I just feel like that. And I don't really know what to think of them. I get mad when they lose to bad teams. I get happy when they lose to good teams. And they're just back and forth like every Big Ten team has been. So that's where I am with them. Halfway or 10 through, we got 15 more left. Number 14 is Houston. They're also at the same spot. I watched them play in that Memphis game a while back where they almost got up. Wait, they did get upset at home for the first time in like 34 games. Um, They did not play well in that game, and that's the only one that I saw out of them. But otherwise, they have another good resume, another good record. Um, So there's, they, 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 just, they just aren't on the top of my radar, but they also seem like they are playing well and winning, so that's why they're at 14. Number 13 is USC. I bumped this, these guys up a little bit. Because um, I feel like, I also say I feel like a lot. They, um, they're just another one of those guys. Quietly winning, quietly unexpectedly winning. And they're just, they're just not on a lot of people's radars. But look out, turn, come tournament time with them. Number 12 is Texas Tech. Move them down a few. They have six losses. Can't be in the top 10 and have six losses. And anything, if you're in the top 10 and have over five losses, you can't be in there. Um, and this year's weird. There's really no undefeated teams or one loss team. There isn't one. So, um, yeah. Um, and then that's where I say with Texas Tech. They just aren't that, they just aren't another one that's on the top of your radar and have a bunch of people who just go, oh, they are good. Um, but new coach there doing a wonderful job. So, yeah. One team that I would like to mention that I did not put in the top 25 is Texas. They have been struggling. I do not like the way they've been playing in the games I've watched. Chris Beard doing an okay job over there, but I just don't like what they're doing. It, it, there's just something that feels like the way that they've lost a few games isn't what, I, it isn't what I'm liking. Uh, number 11 is UCLA. Bumpy road for them um, after a uh, fast start. They've had a bumpy road since then. Well, Rise are one of those teams that are is winning in a pretty tough conference and... Um, they're doing good things, so that's why they're a little above average at 11. Number 10 is UConn. UConn, impressive win over Villanova. Come back in that final minute. What a thriller. Loved it. They have play, they, they have a great atmosphere at their home stadium. They, 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 are, they're doing, they are doing some impressive things that I feel like is starting to come up on people, and I'm liking what they're doing. Number 9, Duke. Drop that back a few spots. And another team winning, not really catching my eye particularly. I f they just, they, they aren't as impressive as they used to be. And they still aren't, oh, they are perfectly impressive. No, they aren't that. They are, they are, they're just, they're just a team that has a good background this season and is finding a way to win games. Nothing too special though. Number nine. Number eight is Baylor. Um, really... Really high expectations again coming into the year. They've executed those. A few really tough upset losses. Um, and minus those, they've looked pretty pretty solid. But um, just just a few inconsistent moments. Number seven, Providence. This team, I love. I love them, love them, love them. Another team with a great atmosphere. Another team you don't see in there too much. It, it, something, something's clicking with Providence. I love it. Number six, Purdue. I don't know what to think of this team. One game. They lost to Rutgers. They've had a few upset losses. And then they destroy Illinois. They barely pull an out against Illinois in double overtime. I don't know. It, it, they just are a little bumpy. As I've said, like every Big Ten team. But they just got the guys. Um, Ivy, Stefanovic, Edie. They, and they have two big guys that are dominant. So that's going to help. 
Number five, Kentucky. Kept them right where they are in the real rankings, I think. And yeah, I like the way I like the way they play. I do. And um, Calipari is doing a nice job there this year, as he's done his entire career. Nothing that really is too special. They're getting wins. Good resume behind their back. Um, nothing's caught my eye too particularly much, but I feel um, that Kentucky is playing a nice season overall, and um, I feel like could could be one of those teams that comes that hits their stride in ter in the tournament. Number four, Kansas. Um, I kept them in the same spot as well because another another one. They just they 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 win. They destroy teams sometimes. They are beating impressive good teams. I just don't feel like they're capable of being in the top three. Let's get into the top three now. Number three, it's going to be Gonzaga. It's because of their conference. They may be winning by an average of 20 points per game. And they they may be dominating in all those stat categories. They may have some of the best players in the country. But they are not getting the competition I want. They aren't getting the competition. Like the Big Ten, the SEC. Hard-fought battles. They're getting all these um, schools. I mean, now you have St. Mary's in the top 25, but that's really it. Um, San Francisco isn't half bad this year, or maybe maybe I'm thinking of another team. But they have a few, they have a few people in that conference that can do that can do dangerous things. But I it, it it's just not a great resume when you look at it. They had a few impressive wins early in the season against non-conference teams, though. Number two is going to be Auburn. Lost to Arkansas. That didn't really put me down too much. Arkansas is a good team. They're in the top 25. Wasn't too big of an upset. It was still really cool to see when they were number one. But I, I, I can't fall too too behind on this team. I still think that they are pretty darn dominant. Number one, Arizona, um, the Arizona Wildcats. Give this team a chance at number one, please. Win a few more games. Please put them there. They're just so deserving. They have really... Put it all together. Matherin is a beast. They barely pulled it out against Illinois. and But that's still an impressive win. Illinois is still a good team. They, um, they're, they're, they're just beating good teams. And they are they just have the things t t turning right for them. Um, their coach has done a really good job. Nice win against Oregon the other night. I just, they're just... They're just all over it. I, I I don't know what to say except it just seems like they have a team that is willing and it seems that they are very capable of going all the way. So that is my custom top twenty five men's basketball rankings here with four weeks four um games to go in the regular season in twenty twenty two before the tournaments. Um should be fun come come tournament time. But otherwise share your thoughts on these in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see y'all next time. Bye everybody.